This could be the Daytona 500. Bobby Labonte goes to the outside. Labonte up high. Earnhardt uses the lap car of Rick Bass as a pick. 20 years of trying, 20 years of frustration. Dale Earnhardt will come to the caution flag to win the Daytona 500. Finally, the most anticipated moment in racing. With seven cup titles, Dale Earnhardt had already earned his place among NASCAR royalty. Every man on every crew has come out to the edge of pit lane. His victory at Daytona was his signature win in a career that rivaled the king. Tying his record of seven championships is really, really impressive. It's humbling to, to think that uh, a, a guy from Kannapolis could uh, work hard and, you know, become a champion, and, you know, it's, it's unbelievable. Almost as remarkable as Earnhardt's seven championships was the fact that a ninth grade dropout had assumed the mantle of leadership once reserved for Richard Petty. In a changing sports world, NASCAR had adapted under Dale Earnhardt. Under Jeff Gordon, the sport evolved. Gordon arrived pre-packaged for stardom, ready to rip the spotlight away from Earnhardt. The racing phenom took NASCAR's final step into the American mainstream. Ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Gordon! Thank you very much. I, I, I am so excited to be here in New York hosting Saturday Night Live. Unlike Petty and Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon raced since childhood. He was a prodigy whose talent had been carefully crafted by his stepfather, John Bickford. I've ran go-karts for about three or four years, and the go-karts, they really help you out on the dirt because, you know, you're sideways and on the pedal, you know, just sort of like the sprints. Oh, my God. You know, this is, this is, this is just insane of how how incredible, you know, this career that started when I was five and a half, six years old, that, that it's, it's come this far. It was all him. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I, I, it is a funny, um, you think back about it, and we raced too much. <laughs> yeah, we raced <laughs> he's a be, lot. He's being nice. No, we raced we ra a lot. We raced a lot. But I you're mean, not going to get to this, you're not going to get to any professional level and have success, especially at a young age, if you don't commit yourself. You know, don't take all the childhood away like I did. Give, let the kids have a few other things. Let them have a few other things. They won't be as successful, <laughs> but they'll be better balanced in life. <laughs> the young man who grew up in Indiana because that was one of the few states that allow a 13-year-old to drive a sprint car. Jeff Gordon has won for the third time this year. You know, we start focusing on when I'm interviewed, what to say, what not to say. Valvoline, Diet Pepsi, Hoosier Tires, Hardee's, they're helping us out a lot. And uh, thank you for uh, getting us uh, on this television here. When I moved on to NASCAR, and now all the races are televised, you know, it was just a natural thing for me to just continue, you know, going forward with that. You know, I wasn't afraid of the camera. I'd seen cameras around since I was six, seven years old. We tried to design our racing so that Jeff wasn't the mechanic, that Jeff was the driver. And so the whole media saw a, a new type of a driver coming into the sport. At the same time, you got Richard Petty retires, and all those fans are looking for somebody. Some people forget about, you know, Tim Richmond and how Hollywood he was. Second half of the season. But guys like Dale Earnhardt got into the Cup Series, and that's when they were in front of the TV cameras and, and being interviewed. So they had to learn that. To run that rest of that season, it was a, you know, a great attitude. Uh, take two. I was probably one of the first guys that I got to learn that prior to coming to the Cup Series. That is where I see maybe a difference in the growth of the sport. I mean, I, I don't know what it takes. Thanks, guys. Good, good job. He was probably one of the better talkers. He was fortunate that he had a father who was a successful businessman and was able to help him. 
he was a little controversial when he got started because he was knocking off some of the heroes of that day. It was only two years before I started competing for a championship. Here comes this kid who's not necessarily intimidated. was created because, you know, here's Earnhardt, seven-time champion. Here's this young kid, total opposite in a lot of ways. And so our fans were the ones that were, were the real rivals. Earnhardt! 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 Number three! Check out Flair, guy! Earnhardt! It's Gordon all the way! This is uh, designed as says that he's going to kick Gordon's skinny a little ass, but I'm a Gordon fan, all right? I always uh, have said that we we need to be having the negative Gordon apparel and, 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 and decals too because we're losing out because there's a lot of it out there. Nothing be more hilarious than, than yeah. seeing somebody, you know, with, with a decal that says Gordon sucks or something like that and go to him and say, hey, man, I'm, I really appreciate you buying that because I, I, I get paid when you do that. <laughs> Earnhardt and myself never planned on that, that to happen, and he recognized the differences of our fans, kind of pushed that a little bit and used it as an advantage. If you want to make a pass, look for the right opening and make sure your fellow racer can see you coming. If it's Jeff, jo Jeff Gordon, put the son bitch in the wall. I didn't say that. Hendrick Motorsports contributed uh, a lot with the engines, and we appreciate that. I love it. I love it. I think that that you know everybody wants to see a rivalry between Dale Jr. and myself. Problem is, we drive for the same team, and we're friends. So you know it's hard to create a rivalry. And the Except biggest problem thing. you got the rivalry is Junior's got all the fans. Yeah. <laughs> There's nobody to the rival him. <laughs> you know, Jeff knew it, and I sort of learned it from watching him and Dad. Is so we work, we work with that. Sometimes when we do get racing side by side, me and Jeff will push the issue for a couple laps, just because we know our fans enjoy it. 